Was he a mad genius or just a quiet but calculating artist? An exhibition in Amsterdam containing hundreds of letters written by Vincent van Gogh might give you an idea about what exactly went on inside the Dutch painter's head. And don't worry if you can't visit in person, there's a six-volume publication you can get your hands on with the letters, sketches and more. For years we've wondered what went on inside the mind of Vincent van Gogh. What inspired him to paint sunflowers and other such celebrated works of art? Well, now there's a way you can find out more about the distinguished Dutchman. Before sending the, finished works to the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam has published a book containing 900 letters to and from the artist. Also included are sketches of paintings he was working on, as well as illustrations of more than 2,000 artworks he discusses at each reference. For the first time you read the letters and at the same time you also see, as it were, the visual world that he had in his head, all the works that he was thinking about. To coincide with the publishing, the museum is displaying some of the original letters, rarely on show because of their fragility, so visitors can compare sketches in the letters with his paintings. The amount of details that we found uh, add up to a, a new view on Van Gogh. It appears that he, he is really a very rational man, not the mad genius that we know, but he was really very um, aware of what he was doing. He chose his aims and he tried to achieve them step by step. A large portion of the correspondence is made of letters Van Gogh wrote to his brother Theo, an art dealer in Paris. The letters, written mostly in Dutch and French, also include correspondence with other family members, as well as contemporary artists such as Paul Gauguin. That's all for the news. Thanks for watching. Have a nice evening. Good night.